Today's One Shot is brought to you by Nexus, digitalcomics.com. On this week's One Shot, just what the hell is Michael Bay doing with those turtles? I'm RJ. Let's get to it. Alright, so Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, probably don't need to introduce them. If you're my age, you grew up with them, you probably had the toys, you watched the movies, the show, you just loved them. Uh, now, Michael Bay, who also says that he's a fan, uh, <clears throat> bull, uh, <laughs> you bull, in fact, and we'll get to that later. Uh, Michael Bay is now, uh, you know, re reinventing some of the things about the turtles. Now, um, there's been a lot of controversy for quite a while, uh, but recently it has been validated um, that he is making the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles aliens, um, which I have a lot of questions right off the bat for that. Um, if they're aliens, then three parts of the name are not going to really make sense. Teenage makes sense, I guess, you know, if they're um, Earth years equivalent kind of thing, makes sense. Mutant uh, doesn't make sense because they'll be alien. I mean, unless they were mutated in alien space, which I don't know why you would make them an alien then. Uh, ninja, uh, that's an Earth thing, I'm pretty sure. Uh, having them be aliens unless they're like trained here after crashing, which could be. Uh, that's a little iffy. And then turtles. Again, aliens. Do turtles exist on other planets? Possibly. But why the hell would you just arbitrarily say, hey, we're going to make them aliens? Is that more interesting? See, this is my problem with Michael Bay uh, altogether. Michael Bay is a decent director as far as action and that sort of thing, even though he tends to go way over the top uh, too often. Um, I, I would call on the first three Transformers uh, as an example. Um, the first Transformers, first of all, Pearl Harbor sucked. I don't care what you say, I hated that film. Uh, anyway, uh, first Transformers movie, I was quite surprised. I liked it very much. It felt pretty respectful, uh, even though Jazz was kind of a moron and I couldn't wait to see him die. Um, besides that, even though they, you know, they had some grandiose uh, battle scenes, it took a little bit of time with characters. Um, on the success of that, what I feel happened is they said, okay, well, we were restraining Bay a little bit, you know, trying to get some, uh, you know, more money, um, you know, uh, a tighter budget is what I'm saying. And now, since the first one was uh, successful, huge success, we're going to now take off the limits of Bay. We're going to make him, you know, let him make any film he wants. And we're going to give him more money. And that was the problem. Um, I think a lot like Lucas and some of these other autocratic uh, directors, when uh, <laughs> when they have dead to rights, so they can do anything they want, they just go too big and nobody reins them in. Nobody says, uh, Michael, uh, that's retarded. Don't do that. They, they just don't do that. So uh, number two, Transformers. Transformers 2, we, we saw the proof of that. It was horrible. Uh, most everybody does not like it. Um, Kids, maybe. Great. But uh, you know, the people that grew up with Transformers and actually care about the Transformers, it's like, even me, like, I, I'm okay with them taking some liberty. In the first one, I was okay with them, you know, doing Blackout, even though they could have done a Vortex, you know, whatever. They, they created a couple Transformers, no problem. Uh, Frenzy was a little stupid to me, but, you know, whatever, fine. Uh, Soundwave was hovering around, you know, they made him a little different, but, you know, again, I'm okay with that. Like, it's all right. You can take a little bit of license. The things that I don't understand is, like, if you're such a, you know, blankety-blank fan, then why would you get, like, Devastator, you know, call Brawl Devastator and uh, get that wrong? And, I mean, it just the list of little, little stupid things goes on and on, but there are a lot of characters that were created for no apparent reason. Um... I just, like, Bone Crusher, like, okay, great, you know, you're gonna make Bone Crusher, uh, but he's gone in an instant, you know, why, why? I, the character development still was better in one than two. Two, we had, like, very little character development. We got these two idiot robots which, who, who shall remain nameless because they're, they should not be in that movie. They're so, they're like Jar Jar Binks times two because there's two of them. Uh, there's all the ball and uh, you know dog humping jokes. <laughs> like literally, there is several in there. Uh, Wheelie's kind of stupid, but even if you like forgive him for the little things, they just all add up. Um, I thought it was pretty cool to see you know uh, Devastator on the pyramid. I thought that was pretty cool. 
But uh, beyond that, it's just a little uh, too much. Uh, balls, and like, give me a break, whatever. It's a kind of a topical, funny moment, and it could have been okay if it wasn't in conjunction with all this other stuff that they did. Um, whatever. That I, I don't even know. I can't even list all the things that I hate about that film. So we're just going to jump to the third. The third one I just rewatched. I was hoping that I would like it better now that a little time has passed, but I actually liked it worse. Uh, I love that Shockwave showed up, but Shockwave is such a powerful and, you know, stoic. He's an awesome character. He doesn't need a big tentacle monster that he can apparently control that I've you know, never seen. But what is that? What is that? I, I guess what I'm getting at, before I go too far into this, what I'm getting at is that Michael Bay is saying, you know, all the fans are upset that he's he's gotten a hold of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and he's already changing things. So the, this is, to the fans, he said, you know, like, chill out. They're in good hands, you know. Uh, uh, you have nothing to worry about. Like, really? Nothing to worry about. Because you changed a lot of things about the Transformers just kind of willy-nilly. They don't add anything to it. Uh, you're just kind of like, okay, well, we'll change some of the history and we'll change, you know, some of the characters. And it does not add to the story. There is no reason that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cannot remain mutants, can, you know, remain Ninja Turtles. I mean, there's no reason. There, I don't think it gains anything from space. Now, of course, I haven't seen the film. I haven't seen the dailies. I haven't read the script, and that's part of his argument. But what, you know, he's like, well, we're going to make, the you know, the kids are going to think that they really exist because they're aliens and because, you know, they're going to have a rich, richer story. Like, okay. You're kind of disrespecting the property right there. Um, a richer story. It's already pretty rich. And what makes a, a kid more, you know, a, an alien more believable than a mutant? I, I don't know. Uh, perhaps there'll be some of this great, you know, backstory or whatever. But you're just making that up at this point. It, more likely than not, it's just going to be like, oh, yeah, they're aliens. And that's it. I mean, maybe we'll have, like, some spaceships now that we can, you know, now we can have a huge city scene where a bunch of spaceships are attacking or something. I mean, that's the kind of way that Michael Bay seems to think. Um, you know, make these arbitrary changes that actually betray the backstory, and but allow for bigger, you know, spectacle in the movie. Um, it's really sad when they do that. And then, you know, like, again, back to the Transformers, because we're just coming off of that, the trilogy being ended there were so many times where, well, like Blackout, first movie, first, I loved Blackout. He was a great character. I, I Seeing him transform the first time and the sound effects, just freaking amazing. He dies at the end of the film, and then he shows up in the second one. But it's not him. It's some other, I forget what they called him, but I, they didn't even call him it in the movie. You had to look in the, you know, in the, in the casting list or whatever to find out the character's name, but... They just, they use the same model, they change the head, but there he is. You know, it's, why would you kill him off in the first, I don't know, I don't know. There's a lot that I can forgive, but it just all compounds. And I don't think that any of us should feel secure with Michael Bay having it. Will they be horrible movies? Probably not. They'll still have some entertaining, you know, value. We'll still have some fun. It's not like Michael Bay is as bad as you, Bull. I, I, I have a hard time even saying that guy's name. Um... You should go on, you know, online and petition to help him stop making movies because he keeps making like Blood Rain, Far Cry. He took those awesome properties that could be really great movies and he just betrayed everything about them. He has learned how to work the studio system so that he kind of saves money on props and anything important, turns out a piece of poop. And still makes money. And that is why he keeps getting some of these, uh, you know, directing roles. Uh, he is a horrible director. Uh, there is one movie, and I can't remember what it is right now, that I actually watched. And I was like, wow, I can't believe that Ubel actually directed that. So he does know a thing or two, but he does not use it. And uh, he has really poor decisions. Um, Blood Rain. Have you seen Blood Rain? It is so awful. The production value is so horrible. Her knives, they're just these plain, hor it's just horrible, and acting is bad. Ben Kingsley is in that, but he, it's so sad that he's in such a crappy movie, and, you know, it's its not him, he's a brilliant actor, so it's definitely the director and the writing. Anyway, there's my tirade, at least um, Michael Bay's not quite as bad as you both, so um, I'm hoping that... <sighs> I don't think there's any going back. You know, they, they, they did say they postponed the, the movie. They're now releasing it a couple months later. Uh, 
because, you know, they say that it's because, oh, you know, fan respond, responding to fans or whatever. But the truth of the matter is they're probably delaying it so that it goes in the time of the, I think, 30-year anniversary of the Turtles. So they're probably doing this to placate people and to make some extra money. So I don't think that they're listening to us. I think that it's probably already too late. We're going to get the movie that we get. I just hope that there's enough redeeming you know, value that at least the next generation can love it. I think that a lot of us are going to have, we're going to have more problems with this franchise in my view. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm surprised. Uh, but that's the way it's looking. Uh, man, I can't believe the stupid things that come out of his mouth. It's like, oh, we're going to make them, you know, more interesting. Nobody's going to be upset because they're going to be more interesting and more rich. And, uh, you know, trust me. Like, seriously. Chill out and trust me. Give me a break. Give me a break. To betray <laughs> our trust in such stupid ways that don't amount to anything better. I, I, whatever. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I have to eat my words uh, because I really don't want the Teams Mutant Ninja Turtles to be... Uh, bastardized like this. Anyway, again, that's my tirade. Uh, take it or leave it. Let me know what you think, please. Uh, this is a whirlwind. A lot of people are giving their opinions. Uh, some of them really don't have great grounds, but, uh, you know, yeah. Enough said. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, make sure you check out our dual review YouTube channel. Uh, Game Labs has been a lot of fun. Uh, we've got a new location in Seattle, so we're going to be pumping out a lot more stuff, and please support us any way you can. Just subscribing helps us. Uh, tell your friends. Let us know uh, how we're doing. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week. I love you, turtles. Sorry.